team at the Cape, the team at Cape Canaveral began loading propellant at T minus 35 minutes. Since the second stage Merlin engine is very similar to the first stage Merlin engines, both the first and second stages get to use the same propellants. Our fuel is a refined form of kerosene known as Rocket Propellant 1, or RP1, and our oxidizer is super chilled liquid oxygen, LOX. We chill the liquid oxygen to be as cold as we can get it, which allows us to load more LOX and makes it super dense with oxygen molecules. Both of these things give us better performance with those Merlin engines. This also helps us to avoid the need to continue topping off prior to launch uh, in order to make up for losses due to boiling. Now at this point, second stage is fully loaded with RP1 and the first stage looks like uh, it is complete as well. Also at this point in time, liquid oxygen is being loaded onto both the first and second stages. We're also loading helium into the storage vessels on the first and second stages. During flight, we pass this cold helium through heat exchangers on the Merlin engines. The heat of the gas generator exhaust turns that cold helium into hot helium, therefore expanding it. That expanded, excuse me, that expanded helium gas is then used to fill the empty volume in the tanks created by the engine pumps that pull the propellant out of the stage. Very shortly, we'll open the pre-valves between the first stage engines and the propellant tanks. Uh, we started to do engine chillin'. You might have heard that call out a couple minutes ago, around T minus seven minutes. Uh, this, uh, basically by opening those, those valves, we allow some of that super cool liquid oxygen to flow into the turbo pumps, which helps us to avoid any thermal shocks that might occur when we start those pumps up at T minus two seconds to light the Merlin engines. And it looks like we got some strong back uh, transporter erector action there, slightly moving backward away from the rocket. So we're currently at just under T minus four minutes. Everything appears to be on track for our on-time launch. The range is green, and as for weather, we've been keeping an eye on those upper altitude winds today, but right now, everything is looking favorable. If for some reason we have to call a hold on today's launch, we have a backup opportunity tomorrow with a liftoff time scheduled for about the same time. But as for now, all systems continue to be go for a liftoff at 12.55 p.m. Eastern. So first stage fuel loading completed on time around T minus six minutes. And we're currently waiting for uh, that first stage locks load to complete. We should be hearing the call out, call out for that any moment. And second stage liquid oxygen loading will complete around T minus two minutes. Just a minute before liftoff, you'll hear the announcement that Falcon 9 is in startup. This announcement means that the rocket's own internal computers are now controlling the launch countdown on Falcon 9. Once the engines are confirmed to be at full power, the flight computer on the second stage will then command the ground hold downs to release the rocket right at T0. Our satellite team continues to monitor the health and status of that SXM-7 satellite located there in the fairing that you see on your screen. Currently, all systems are go on the satellite. The range continues to be green for launch and weather continues to look good.
hold, hold on the primary countdown. Bet. Launch port's running. Practice is right As you just heard, we did hear a hold, hold, hold called out today. The clock is stopped at T minus 30 seconds. We're going to check in with the teams. Give us a moment and we'll see what we can get you. As you just heard on the countdown net, we had a hold called at T minus 30 seconds. Prior to that, the countdown was proceeding nominally, keeping in mind that the purpose of the countdown is to help us catch any potential issues prior to flight. There are a thousand ways a launch can go wrong and only one way that it can go right. Given that we are overly cautious on the ground uh, and if the team or the vehicle sees anything that looks even just slightly off, they'll stop the countdown. Overall, the vehicle appears to be in good health, but that will be ending our launch attempt for today. Keep an eye out on our social media accounts for the announcement of our next launch opportunity. Until then, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.